it's a really gloomy rainy day out in Sydney at the moment so I thought I would show you guys how I made coffee for myself using my AeroPress. First you're going to heat up some water because this is the part that actually takes the longest and this will just speed things up. Next you'll take your AeroPress and then insert it around up to like the number 4 mark like so. We're going to use the inverted method here. I like the inverted method because for me it allows for a bit more control due to the full immersion. Now we're just going to have our water and just preheat our AeroPress like so. Let's just take your coffee beans. I'm going to be using these beans from Grayson Taylor Coffee Roasters. They're from Timor Leste. I'm going to be trying out a ratio of 12.5 grams to 180 ml of water. So let's put in 12.5 grams of coffee here. You can adjust this ratio depending on how the coffee comes out really. And now let's start grinding. This is really hard to do in front of a tripod so I'll just do it in the back right here. Depending on the grinder that you have, this will take a lot longer or a lot shorter. I'm using a Lido 3 grinder, which is honestly a bit on the pricier side. So this takes me a bit shorter than if you had, say, a Porlex or a Hario grinder, but those are fine as well. Now you're just going to add the coffee in like so. Make sure your scale's at zero and then start the timer as soon as you start pouring your water in. So we're starting off with a 30 gram pour right here and then we're just going to swirl it like so. You can use a spoon or a, a knife if you want as well or the stirrer that comes with the AeroPress but I've lost that one. And then you'll just wait for around 30 to 45 seconds depending on the freshness of the beans. The purpose of this one is supposedly to release any CO2 that's trapped in the beans. Maybe you just want to use this time to stare out the window and ponder the meaning of life as well. Or you know, maybe like the other YouTubers say, take time to smash that like button and I will really appreciate it. Now once you've hit your desired bloom time, it's time to pour in the rest of the water. So I am pouring up to the 180 gram mark which you'll see here is up to just above the number one mark. So once that's done, you're just gonna wait for around two to two and a half minutes depending on your brew time. So just start cleaning up. Next, you just want to take the cap of the AeroPress and line it with your filter. I'm actually using a metal filter here from Able. That means that I'm not gonna be using any sort of paper filter and that just minimizes the amount of waste that I need to deal with. So pretty cool if you're into that no-waste lifestyle. Now I know the AeroPress is sort of losing popularity nowadays, especially in the more serious coffee circles. I still think it does have some practical advantages over, say, a pour-over. I would like that I'm able to really control a lot of the variables here. Pour-over, I feel that there's just a lot more opportunity to screw up because of how you pour your coffee whereas with an AeroPress because you're just pouring it literally into the cylinder I think that it can be a lot more consistent. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the cup over like so be careful not to spill any of the hot water into yourself and just press down. Now you're gonna feel quite a bit of pressure and resistance here which is normal but if you feel that it's just not budging, you probably would need a coarser ground in your coffee. So I've read that the actual press time should take around 30 seconds if the pressure is right. But look, really, it's up to you at the end of the day. If it's producing a coffee that you like, then who cares about all of the supposed best practices anyway? For me, the ritual and the achievement of making a delicious cup of coffee for yourself, that's really what you're after anyway. And if you want to geek out later on about things like TDS, then by all means. I used to live in that world where I was really, really pressured by all of that. But at the end of the day, if it's a good cup of coffee for you, then you do you. That's it. This is my AeroPress video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.